Hello everybody and welcome back. We are in the Dora again. We are going to do a performance takeoff followed by hopefully some two-point landings. Power's coming in. All the way up. Full on the brakes. It does not have anywhere near the power the P-51 does, but she did just let go, so we're going. A little bit of right to counteract that prop. 125, sticks coming neutral and forward, trying to get that tail off the ground. It's ready to come up, let's just ease the stick back, hold a couple degrees up. Wheel's coming up, wow we cut that one a little close. A little loud out there too. Up and around, let's do our two point landings see if we can even get them to happen. Two-point is much harder than three-point, but in the P-51 I would honestly say the two-point is easier. Keep more speed, it's a little just... the airplane likes speed. It doesn't bounce like this one. The door is just a bouncy ground bird. Does not like the ground at all. But that's okay. We are here to tame the Dora and learn some secrets. We are completely idle. Watching that runway, we're about square now. Beam the numbers right about 300. Pins in transit, flaps in transit. A little bit of juice. Looking for that 250 again, so we're going to keep the same approach speed. The only thing we're going to do differently is we're going to keep power in. And we're actually going to force it onto the runway very gently, but we're going to force it. No more power to maintain this angle. A little low. Not too bad. Not a bad pitch. 250 kph coordinated. Well, this is weird. And we're on glide slope. Let's see if we can also come out straight down the middle of the runway. Eh? Eh? Right side. But it was close. I just have not figured out where we put it yet. Alright, so unlike the three point, we are going to point this at the runway and we're going to tell it to sit. So right about two, about 200 is about where I want to be on the ground. So, power's coming out, leaving just a little bit of power, just a smidgen. Instead of flaring until we're gone, we're going to just ease it on. Ease it, ease it, nope. Not how you two point, that's how you three point. So, that tells me we were too quick. Let's try about 180 next time. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Overshot center line again. I just cannot get it in the middle. Pretty much right every time. Which means that my downwind's probably pointed over a little bit. Alright. Serious mode. We are pointed straight down the runway. 250 knots. Try and touch down a little lower. Power's coming out. In the flare. Hold it on. Hold it on. Not staying on. Power! Before we die. <laughs> Alright, so I think I want to come in a little slower on the two-point. Rolling out. Not bad. Quite center line, but not bad. Alright, flaps and pins confirmed and confirmed. Let me ease off the power a little bit. I think we need to arrest the flare just a little more. But, we don't need to... Power's coming out. Oh, oh, okay. I mean, the power's all the way out. 
He just doesn't like me to put it on the ground with the nose. He just wants to bounce its way down the runway. Well, I guess this is a list of what you don't want to do. And that is basically whatever I just did. Because I just cannot get that two point down. It eludes me. <sighs> oh, that one's hard. But we got in a couple of three point, kinda. More like we got some touch and goes and some flails, and I almost died a few times, and I don't know where the turn off is, so I'm just letting it roll. Remember, stick in the lap all the way back. That's the number one thing that really helps. As soon as you touch, as soon as that tail wheel comes down, stick in the lap. Give her a little bit of juice. As soon as you go forward, she gets squirrely. Well, squirrelier. Maybe not too squirrely. Where's the taxiway for this place? There it is. Well, uh, it looks like one. Question is, is it one I can use? It looks like I can use that one. Use differential braking to see. Because right and left does nothing with that stick up there, but I have no control unless the stick's back. It's almost even less helpful. A giant cone out there. An air inlet. Not helpful. So we're going to use differential braking because this apparently does not have tailwheel steering. Flaps coming up. Landing light coming off. Where are we? Doing alright. Let's get that tail dragger waggle going. Like to see where we are. Make sure we don't go off the other taxiway. This aircraft is nowhere near as torquey as the P-51, so a little bit of extra juice does not hurt you. There's some landing spots out there. Let's go park out in the night sun. Little juice to get going. A little bit of right differential braking. Park it down here. We want to be able to see down the taxiway. In case somebody pulls out in front of us. Doesn't have to be major, just enough. And honestly, with speed, this is a little easier. But with speed comes much danger. I think we're just going to park it over here next to this hangar. Let's see, can I get it turned around so that all he would have to do is pull the tail and we'd be in the hangar? It's a whole bunch of hangar slots, that's cool. We're gonna try it. Oh, we missed just barely. Not by much, but just barely. <sighs> Anyways, two point landings are friggin' hard. I'll get them down eventually. I'll let you know how to do them. But they're not easy. I would definitely recommend a three point in the Dora. Stick all the way full back in the lap. That's. As soon as you touch, all the way back. If you bounce, you bend a little too quick. But other than that, thank you guys for joining. Found something to click. Neat. Red light. Anyways, thank you guys for joining. Hopefully you enjoyed me flailing a little bit at the two point. No success yet. No deaths either, so that's a positive. And hopefully we can get some two points in the next video. So, thank you for joining in, and we will see you guys in the next episode.